All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day, and today I need you to hear me out. The Zodiac deck is not bad, and on the higher stakes, the Zodiac deck might even be good. And so, does this sound like you? Have you ever said this complaint? Oh, the reason why I lost is I didn't get strong enough jokers early enough. The reason why I lost is I didn't get enough jokers early enough. Well, if you start with the overstock voucher, your shop has an extra option, has an extra slot, and so you have more chances to get what you're looking for. You have more choices to decide how you want to start and build your run. Also, when we're talking about higher stakes, we're talking about uh, you know, orange stake and higher, where you've got the increasing cost booster packs, meaning in general, you have less access to planet cards, less access to tarot cards. These things are very important. Tarot cards to uh, build your deck, planet cards to increase your scoring. And so these vouchers, the tarot merchant and the planet merchant, these are highly sought after on the higher stakes. Um, I don't think you pick them up 100% of the time, but I think you pick them up a lot of the time if we're talking about orange and gold stake here. And so the Zodiac deck, it is not as exciting, it's not as flashy as the Ghost deck. It is not, you know, the draws are not as smooth and easy as the Checker deck, but the shopping part of the game, which is also an important part of the game, that part is much easier, much more smooth. Or at least that's how it is in theory. Let's give it a try. All right, in anti one here, you know, we're always looking at the first skip tag if it's something that we want to do. Um, here, we get four dollars if we want to skip here. So of course we don't want to do that. Um, but you know, if we look at these other tags here, if you didn't already know, um, the celestial packs, the buffoon packs, the spectral packs, the orbital tag here, also the top of tag. So anything that would give you a joker doesn't show up in anti one anything that would increase your hands make you more powerful you know with the celestial pack or the orbital tag also doesn't show up in anti one what does show up are things like coupon tag i think is the most powerful way to start you know you get a bunch of free stuff free booster packs free potentially joker you can get between 10 and 15 dollars worth of value so i recommend that one or you can get you know, these special jokers here. So instead of just a common joker in the shop, you can guarantee an uncommon, you can guarantee a rare. And I think these are perfectly fine. I think these are perfectly worthwhile because, you know, the uncommon jokers, you can get a joker that will scale. You can get a joker that you can build around. You can get X molt jokers. Same thing with the rares, you know, more than half of them are these X multi jokers that you can build around. Or I think sort of the safer picks, the more consistent picks are gonna be the foil tag and the holographic tag because those give you, okay, if the concern is I need at least one scoring joker in order to take on the boss, I need at least one scoring joker in order to beat the small blind of anti two, this is how you get there. Guaranteed plus 50 chips, guaranteed plus 10 molt, those can be worthwhile. However, if we're playing on the Zodiac deck, because we have the overstock, because we have the extra shop slot, I think it's fine. We don't need to take those skips that we normally take on other decks. It's better to just go into the shop because every time you go into the shop, that's a reroll. That's a free reroll. You get to see three cards. All right, here I have, you know, a straight automatically. I do have the option if I want to discard here, I could look for a flush. I could try to get a hand that might one shot this 300 here. I think if the thing that you're going for is win percentage, win rate, then I think you settle for the two-hander more often. And so here, if they gave us a straight, I would rather take the guarantee, I would rather take the straight than potentially risk, you know, maybe playing three hands even sometimes. 
So we'll play the straight, even though I know it's not going to be a one shot. That's fine. And then, you know, here, two pair is fine also. Um, or I could discard if I'm looking for a flush. So we use two hands instead of one hand. We have one less dollar than we could have. That's totally fine. Now in the shop, we have a couple, we have more options. We can choose either this kind of income, this kind of value generating uh, superposition, or we can go for this green joker, this scaling plus mold joker. And I think between these two, um, on the high stakes, I think I don't want superposition. I think if you have some kind of straight enabler joker, if you have the shortcut joker, if you have the four fingers joker, I think superposition works. I think if you're playing on the white stake, if you're playing the low stakes, where we don't have, you know, here a minus one discard, minus one hand size, then I think superposition is fine. And actually I like it a lot. I think it's a lot of fun, the superposition. It's kind of like a mini game, right? But on the high stakes, I think it's just too hard. I think it's too hard to make work on the high stakes. And so maybe green joker is the kind of thing that we can build around. Though we do need to be a little bit careful with this. Um, if I want to do this, if I want to make green joker stuff happen, I need to avoid discards. I need to be somewhat humble about what kind of hands I'm going for. I think we can make this work. This is not one that I typically go for, but you know, I gotta get the gold sticker at some point anyway. All right, so what I'm looking for is, if I wanna, this bottoms out at zero, zero is the minimum, so I can use some discards now, as long as I don't use any discards in the future. So what I'm looking for is maybe uh, more aces. Maybe what I'm looking for is some five card hand, maybe a full house. Uh, pair of queens, maybe. Okay, so I did get the full house. If I play the full house, I know the full house is something like 350 points is not enough points. So maybe let's play high card once. And then now if I play the full house, it's going to be, you know, what used to be 350 points plus two molt is going to be times six. So it's, you know, plus 50% is going to hit uh, 450. Yeah, let's ship it. What I've said in the past about the green joker, you know, when you're first starting out, you're trying to save your money, you're trying to build up your interest, maybe don't use up all your hands. You can always grow this later. You can always grow this passively through just playing normal hands. This is a huge combination. Uh, green joker combined with the ice cream. Now we can play, if you wanted to, anything. We could play garbage and we will. <laughs> so, you know, let's play a pair. Where do we want to play high card? You know what? I'm in a high card kind of mood. Then we get to play fast. All right. Uh, ooh, uh, mm. Space Joker, if we're going to play the high card. I do want this grabber. So I am thinking about that. Do I want the space joker and then spam the high card and upgrade the high card? Sure. Garbage tag, I have a feeling garbage tag, not right this second, but I have a feeling garbage tag is gonna be the one. I think that's gonna be the stuff. Later, later, we'll see. Um, how about this high card? Is that high enough? How about this other high card? Does that work? You know, Space Joker, you're supposed to upgrade the high card. Oh. <laughs> as much fun as it would be to get the grabber, you know, you always bet on banana. All right. 
Now we're having fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, how badly do I want the grabber? The answer is yes. <laughs> is it worth sell the banana? Ooh, that doesn't feel good. Is it worth sell the space joker? Ooh, that doesn't feel good either. I think, I think what we'll do is I think we got to pass on the grabber. Right, Grabber gives me more hands to potentially level up my green joker more. Uh, more hands is also more money, but space joker gives me more value per hand. So I play less hands, but I get more value. So I think I gotta stick with what we got. We gotta keep betting on banana. Go next. You know, here I made this whole thing about, uh, you know, with the Zodiac deck having more shop options. We're not even going to shop. We're not even going to use the shop at all. Oh, yeah, we got the extra scoop ice cream. Um, Do I want Blackboard with the times three? Interesting. I think I do. I think we can make that work. I think that's legit. I think we keep holding here. Uh, skip for eight bucks. No, thank you. So here's the thing about the blackboard. If we're playing things like high card, right? I could just play anything. I could just click all the red cards and then save the black cards. <laughs> uh, what's next? You know, as powerful as Riff Raff is, I'm I'm pretty satisfied. I'm pretty happy with what I got. Um, do I want a lucky card? Probably not, right? If I make a lucky card, if I'm not discarding, I'm not going to draw it later. Like, I could do it one time, but I'm not going to draw it later. So, I think we just go next. I think my requirements, you know, what I need, what I'm looking for... I don't need much. I don't need to do much shopping. All right. <laughs> so, you know, currently Supernova does the same thing that Green Joker is doing. These are the same, the two of these. And so like, if this gives me like plus 40 molt or something like that, and Supernova gives me another plus 40 molt, then effectively it's a times two, right? You have one and then times two. And so, you know, maybe it would be better long-term, better to have a times three joker, like instead of the blackboard, I don't know, some other times three joker, like a card sharp, for example, would be especially powerful. In the short term, Maybe it's good enough. Maybe... Maybe I don't want to score more points. Because if I score less points, I get to play more hands. Leveling up my green joker and leveling up my space joker faster. I think I'm going to take the supernova. I think it's... I think I'd rather have the money. Have the money by saving the hands. So play less hands, earn more money. Let's do it. Alright, uh, I need to play my red cards. Like that. This is kind of interesting. We have the Baron. It's going to reward me for holding on to kings. And so, like, right now, I'm not using any discards. I'm, like, you know, leveling up my green joker. But what if, what if, hear me out. What if we played high card and had kings left over? And so, you know, if you've seen the work that I've done on, you know, kind of the, the high ante runs or uh, the, the Perkeo run that we did, we had the held in hand kings. 
by playing lots of high card. Maybe that's something that we want to be doing. At the very least, that's a new, that's a sticker for us, right? If we go the Baron, I need to get the gold sticker. So let's do that. And if that's the thing that I want to do, I get rid of the green Joker. And I have my supernova the thing that's leveling up instead of the green Joker. Okay. I'm into it. Go next. 13 bucks? Nah. So now I am interested in potentially using my discards. Maybe. So not as powerful as with the blackboard. So maybe, yeah, we'll do this. I'm looking for tarot cards now. I'm in the market. Good thing we got the Zodiac deck. We get the extra tarot cards in the shop. Um, the way that I think about the Zodiac deck, so it, you know, it says times four or it says times two for the, the tarot cards or whatever. You don't actually know how often tarot cards come up, right? So if, we, if it says times two, you don't know what times one is. Um, here's how I think about it. So usually jokers show up more than consumables, right? And so if I have times two tarot and I have times two planets, I think together that makes it about even. So it's about one third of the time you get a planet, one third of the time you get a tarot, one third of the time you get a joker. And then since we have three slots because of overstock, that means you know, every three, on average, you get one Joker, one Tarot, one Planet. Not every time, but kind of on average is how it works. Do I want half Joker? Half Joker that's going to be currently more powerful than Supernova, but that doesn't mean that Supernova can't build up stronger. I think, I think it's fine to keep, fine to hold what we have. Do I want the Tarot Tycoon getting the even more, even more tarot cards in the shop to try to make this Baron work, to try to make the Blackboard work? I think I do want that voucher. I think I don't want it right this minute. And for the Supernova, I think we can get up past 20 very quickly. So I'm just going to go next. All right, um, getting the blackboard value is more important than getting the Baron value, but later on we'll try to get more Baron value. All right. Two more upgrades on my high card. Oh no, my ice cream. Even with the extra scoop, it's melting. All right. Now's the situation where I said I wanted the Tarot Tycoon. And I'm just gonna keep holding my money for interest. The Flint is gonna shrink my high card, but I have plenty of Molt coming from the Supernova and a little bit of chips from my Ice Cream still. This is huge, having the King here, the Black King instead of a Red King finally. Eight K for that. So I need three of those. One more. Um, how about a jack? Hermit, great. Um, paintbrush, no problem. What I would really like is an, another source of chips. You know, the high card leveling up with the Space Joker, that's solid. That's solid amount of chips, but I would like another source of chips. A better sort, you know, in the short term, better source of chips. I don't want something like this. Well, more hand size, you know, makes it easier to hold on to kings. Makes it a little bit harder to do the blackboard stuff. The minus one hand per round, probably we can't afford that since we're trying to play high card. So maybe what we'll do is 
I'm gonna go Arcana first, looking for suit changers, looking for strength. Um, yeah, so here's spades. I can take this king and some other random stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll hit all the hearts into spades. All right, do I wanna re-roll? I'm gonna go yes on re-rolling, right? Because we have the overstock. So we get three options. And we get all these tarot cards, nice. So how about, let's go world. You know, uh, more black cards for the black board. Do I want, lovers and tower are both fine. I think we're gonna go tower if we're gonna play high card. Do I want to skip for $22? Hmm, tempting. If I skip, I do need to hit 35,000, which maybe is a little bit scary. 37,000 that is. I think, I think I have to play. I think if I skip, then it's gonna, you know, outpace me. I need to play so that I can keep scaling. Um, let's go, you know, we haven't really been using our discards, so let's discard looking for kings. Um, yeah, discard one more time looking for kings. Actually, let's do this. I'm gonna discard the black ones because I'm gonna use the spades. I'm gonna use the world. There we go. So I can go these into spades. I can go, this three is now stone. And maybe do something like that. Nice. There's a king and the upgrade. Nice. All right, I do have to figure out my ice cream situation. Um, strength allows me to turn queens into kings. I'm into that. Okay. Um, you know, getting the bonus chips is not bad either in an emergency. For example, here, if I have to hit the 37,000. Go next. All right, let's look for some queens. Getting rid of red cards as we do. There's some queens. Sure. All right, let's... Keep going, perhaps. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of awkward. Well, let's do this. Um, Jack and 10. I'm gonna hold on to the Hierophant until the next hand. And by the way, the blackboard requires you to have uh, spades or clubs. Stone cards don't count. Um, yeah, let's play this king. The ice cream is going to go away on us, so we might as well sell it now. That's awkward, but survivable. This king and this queen i'm going to turn into bonus cards play the king get rid of these that should work nice all right uh do the queen again hangman is useful all right, what's the boss situation? Face cards face down. Ooh, then I don't get to see what color they are. Ooh, 
That's awkward. Let's keep re-rolling. Look at all these planet cards. Mm. I'm gonna re-roll one more time. I would like to get another Joker. Mm. The Bean helps with the Baron because I get to hold more Kings, but makes it harder for me to do Blackboard stuff. That's tricky. That's really tricky. Hmm. I think I am worried a little bit about survival. You know, high card is not the big highest payout. So maybe we'll go reroll one more time. Okay, now I feel better. Now I feel better about things. You know, I can use the world for security. I can pick up this hallucination. Mm, I don't need that. All right, let's go next. All right, face cards are face down. So let's start by removing these hearts. Do I need my kings? Let's try it without the kings. Well, yeah, let's play all these. Okay. Without the kings, that's only 9,000. That's uh, concerning, to be honest, concerning, okay. Um, I don't know what's under here. So, maybe if I pick this up and I go suit. This is clubs. Do I have any, I do have a king of clubs, I guess. This is clubs, this is diamonds. Or I guess this could be hearts. These two. Hmm. Sorry, what I say? I said, uh, oh, these are definitely not spades, right? If I go suit here, they're definitely not spades. Could be clubs, but they're definitely not spades. Let's. Discard these. Hmm. Let's just use the world. I mean, if I know they're not spades, then I could do this. All right, so I got two kings and a queen. So here's the queen, and here's the stone card. This is gonna be huge. And we got the level up. Okay, nice. All right, I can play this, and I got the two kings here. All right, we're good. Oh, we're so good. All right, next round we're fine. Scholar, well it does, it is foil. Um, I think we continue with the world and the Hierophant and come back around for the plus hand size. Go next. So let's, I really wanna find all of my kings and then turn all my kings into spades. There's some kings. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit these with the world. And I'm gonna hit the aces with the bonus cards, because those are the ones that I'm most likely to play. Okay. Play the 10 here. And the jack. Level 10 high card, 29 molt on my supernova. Interesting. Uh, we definitely take the hermit. We definitely need the buffoon pack. Desperately. Ooh. 
<laughs> I mean... Obelisk could work. How do we make the obelisk work for us? Because um, we're going to lose a ton of high card value, which is very awkward, very uncomfortable. Maybe obelisk doesn't work. Maybe what we do is we pick it up and then it's a rare so we could just sell it. Um, we do have going into the next round. I'm not going to pick up the pallet yet. Uh, can I hit 75,000? That's an interesting question. I think I still need some, I need some source of chips. Strength helps. I can turn my last two queens into kings. Does justice help me? Glass card. It's not super powerful. Nor is a magician. Uh, between the two of these, I'd rather have the Magician. So the glass happens before Supernova, so it'll go you know, from 10 to 20. This is a plus 10, and then Supernova gives me 30. Let's go next. All right, so I got one king here. I got one queen that I can use the strength on. Let's discard looking for more. Looking for my bonus cards. There's my stone card. Here's both of my queens. That's huge. All right. Maybe with this obelisk, maybe what we do is we play flush fives or four of a kind. Interesting. I don't know yet. Um, Discard looking for more kings. Okay. This jack gets to be lucky. And then we'll run it out. I mean, if you're gonna give me nothing but kings, <laughs> hey, we can make it work. We can make it work. Um, what does the magician do for me? Not much. Ooh, astronomer though, free celestial packs. That's pretty tempting. Pretty juicy, to be honest. Um, so here's the thing about the Celestial Packs. And we said this before when we were talking about the Nebula deck and the Telescope. If I get the Celestial Pack, if I get the Pluto card and the plus 10 chips, is it worth it? Maybe not. Maybe what I want to do instead... Actually... This is definitely worth it, right? You spend eight bucks, you can always sell it for four bucks, and then this is free. Um, is there a hand that I wanna upgrade? Oh, the obelisk is gone. Yeah, maybe I could upgrade flushes. You know, if I have so many spades. Um, I could pick up this wheel hoping for foil. Pick up this fool hoping for foil again. Or do I hold the fool? You know, potentially the fool could be a death card, could be a hermit card. I think... I think we hold on to the fool. And I think the plus one hand size with the potential for the kings is very powerful so i'm going to take that a little bit awkward a little bit awkward that we're fresh out of cash now let's just discard looking for our kings All right, we got a face down card here. Let's, this is either a nine or an eight, right? So this is gonna give us a pair. So maybe something like this. This is a nine now. 
right? Hmm. But I know it's a black card, so I can do this. Hmm. All right, this is a king of spades. Here's some stuff that I can throw away. Hmm. All right, just this. Incredibly sketchy. <laughs> Grabber helps, extra hand helps. Constellation could be the move. Constellation's pretty good. Uh, maybe I don't need the Space Joker anymore. Maybe, you know, my base is as high as it's going to get, kinda. So maybe, maybe we'll do this. Cause if I keep Astronomer with the Constellation, that's a combo, right? That's a move. So let's get rid of the Space Joker. It's anti-7, so you know it's not going to happen as much anymore. Um, and we'll just take all of the planets that we can for free. And go next. Mega Arcana, two planets, two free planets. No, I think we keep going. Okay. This is fine. This is perfect. We have all the kings that we want to see. <laughs> that is very satisfying. Okay. Mars? Yes. Pluto maybe? No, but we can do... I don't know. Three of a kind kings maybe? Um, do we take the hermit? Do we take the money now? I think we take the hermit and then we hold. I'm concerned. I'm concerned about this 135,000. I think we can hit it if we get our kings, but we're not guaranteed to get our kings. And so if we want to play somewhat conservatively, I think, you know, the greedy thing is to just go next, get the money, and then use the hermit after. I think the safe way to play this is use the hermit now, and then use the fool for another hermit, and then pick up the grabber. And then now it's much easier for us to score. All right, the wall is gonna be tough, potentially. We'll see. Discard looking for kings. All right, we can play a bonus card. Okay, I'm feeling more confident, I'm feeling better. It's still gonna be tough though, hitting this. Um, steel helps, steel kings. Free jumbo. Pluto, sure. All right, um, do we wanna reroll? Do we wanna take an arcana pack? I think we reroll here looking for more tarot. Potentially death would be the best. I could go steel and then I can go death on a steel king. Planet cards are also fine. We want to reroll as much as possible to get as many planet cards as possible. Um, I'm going to go one more. All right. There's the death card that we asked for. Now is the time, do we get rid of the Astronomer in place of the trading card? <laughs> is it always just going to be trading card every run? <laughs> um, I think it's fine. 
Go next. Extra large, you say? Okay. Um, I can play, I could go ahead and make the kings now. Yeah, so let's go chariot and let's go turn this three into a king. And then let's go play. I want kind of, I kind of want to save the stone card until I have more kings. Maybe I don't have that luxury. Maybe I have to play it now. Oh well. All right, we're doing good though. We're doing good. We're doing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Neptune. Celestial packs. Meh. All right. Here's the social chips, the banner. Though I'm using my discards to find my king, so maybe I don't need that. Uh, this is anti eight, so we do want to be re rolling down the rest of our money. Uh, fool on Venus, no. To do list on flush, mm. no. The mm. it's negative. We take it for the sticker. Um, pretty sure I don't have that one, right? <laughs> why would why would I? <laughs> uh, where is it? The uh, do 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 do. I missed it. color is the to-do list? What is the world war rewards the to-do list? What the heck? I'm just blind. That's all it is. Here it is. It's yellow. Um, okay. Yeah. Gold sticker on the to-do list. Cost nine bucks though. Oof. Uh, fool we'll hold on to. I think we can do better than Venus. So we'll go next. 180,000. No problem. Um, Joker's face down. The only thing that matters is supernova on the left. That's it. Great. That means it's a W. Looking like a W. Uh, do I want to play a flush? I might as well, right? All right, what kind of spades can I get? So here, these spades, that's a flush. Two pair, I could play two pair. Uh, jacks and nines. All right, what's next? Uh, full house? Mm, not, not right now. <laughs> we do need to uh, score enough to win here. So, you know, let's play our high cards. Um, I do have the full house, but it's going to cost me my kings, so that's okay. All right, to-do list did pay for itself. All right, all right, I forgive you. Um, death is huge. Death is perfect. We can make more kings. <laughs> um... Four of a kind or my three of a kind is kind of big. Maybe let's keep going three of a kind. That could be a backup plan. Instead of playing high card, play three of a kind. Leveling up our consolation. We are currently, we have another shop. So if I want, um, I don't have to spend all my money here. Yeah, let's go next. Ooh, perfect. So here's, you know, a king. 
and I'll use the fool to get another king. Do I want? <laughs> do I want to do the full house? I think. I think we can survive if we do the full house. So let's go. Um, yeah, let's go tens here. Wait, they're all. It would be a flush house. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just go for the kings. Let's just uh, keep going for kings. Turn this eight into a king. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we're cooking. And we got more death card. All right. And justice. Okay. Uh, do I want this Arcana pack? Do I want this standard pack? Do we... Um, yeah, do I want this Supernova even? Temperance. Alright, so something that's kind of on my brain is, you know, going for unlocks, going for stickers, gold stickers. I want to try to get the rares, right? Let's go spin the wheel. But maybe I need to get the uncommons and maybe astronomer is not a super easy uncommon to get. Ooh, tower might be good. Maybe let's go open the arcana pack. Wow, we're just we're just rolling $20 left and right. Um Let's go death to get rid of this. Let's go glass on the... How about glass ace? How about another 20 bucks? <laughs> All right. Um, hangman I probably don't need at this point. Uh, so maybe I'll pick up a tower here. Oh yeah, this uh, this constellation is going all the way. <laughs> Look at this. Look at so much astronomer value. You ain't never seen this much astronomer value. Um, do I want this priestess? Do I want to get rid of this tower to use the priestess? Sure. Um, let's not use them right away. Hehe. <laughs> More death and glass card. See, see, this is what I was saying. Tarot Tycoon on the high stakes with the overstock. All right, now we're cooking. This is, hey, you thought we were having fun with the ghost deck. This is, now we're actually cooking with the Zodiac deck. Let's, uh, you know, use all these planets. Let's pick up the death card. Uh, more planets here. I have to give up my glass card. I don't want to give up my glass card. Um, I think what I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to crack the standard pack here. Alright, that's fine. We can skip. Go next. Alright, so the thing... The thing that I want to do is I just want to figure out where the supernova is and put the supernova on the left. That's it. Right. So. Let's discard everything looking for kings. That's the move. Where's the kings at? Alright, so there's some kings. I think. I think we're at that stage of the game where it doesn't matter where the supernova is. You know, because we have all the kings. So, here. Let's do this. Let's go death here. Let's play the jack with glass. And then let's ship it. Alright, gold sticker time. Let's go. What's the deck look like? Hee 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 hee. A million points, high card. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be, uh, we got there with the Zodiac deck. We got the gold sticker on the Baron. 
Uh, we got the gold sticker on the astronomer too. Alright. Take care everyone.